Um, hi everyone, my name is Brandon and I'm a student over at CSUN but I'm also a spoken word poet from time to time. I wanted to take this moment to read over a poem I wrote about a year ago called Brown is Beautiful. And you know, whether you're as brown as me, light skin, doesn't matter because it doesn't make you any less human than the next person. And you know, this poem is really about accepting and having pride in who you are, even amidst the oppression we face. And as a Filipino, it's beautiful to see everyone out here in support of the Roque family and to stand up against anti-Asian hate. So I hope these little words can help remind us of our self-worth despite the racial oppression we face. So. Brown is beautiful. It's not a phrase. My melanated people need to hang up on the wall. Physical appearances don't need affirmations at all. But all throughout the decades of toxic beauty standards created in the States, for once my people can finally wear something made in the USA. And it's called insecurity. Sometimes ironically worn with pride like the first time papaya soap caught my eyes and I tried it out on myself and damn. That thing burned like hell. But no pain, no gain was the model branded on this face, reflected in the mirror, but never on the screen. Is this really what it takes to get airtime on TV? Cause back then, those Filipino soap operas barely had kids who looked like me. Unless they were just characters chilling in the background of the scene. But literally be beginning by every frame of thinking that humanity is a one-way street painted in blonde, white, and blue for your eyes to see and to soak. While scrubbing the soap like sandpaper, erase the prejudice perpetuated against the abundance of melanin my color holds. Cause most of the time, it really be our own folks feeding us insecurities as a form of love, as if commenting on our weight and skin in a patronizing tone is affection. Asking the questions if you got darker or gained weight is how not to greet your nephews and nieces. Yet these insecurities about our looks are simply scarred pieces of European colonization traumatizing generations of America's Latinos and Asians. From treating my complexion like it's a complex problem that needs to be solved with verbal abuse on the representation in a bit of retinol. To the point where rebelling against the status quo means accepting the shade of your beautiful, ska of your beautiful skin and rejecting the shade of its throw towards the body that you're in to the point where we have to reaffirm ourselves in the mirror with mantras like brown it's beautiful a seemingly simple phrase that aims to uplift complexions that reflect mine but more so a simple quote questioning talk to beauty standards of our time so honestly forget anyone who tries to make you second guess the humanity and conf confidence everybody deserves to possess thank you